This is the Dutch Plus test kit instructions. Um, first, I want to point out the food restrictions when collecting for your Dutch test. This is in the test kit. You'll need to read that. We're going to look at the test requisition form. Um, you're basically going to be filling out the entire page. I've, I've highlighted, but there's lots of um, questions, patient information. We've marked the type of test. Dr. Emily's information is here. Um, the rest is questions you're going to have to answer as long as well as on the back. You're going to be answering a lot of questions. This is going to go in the test kit when you're shipping it back as well. Um, the Dutch Plus um, has a test instruction sheet here. <clears throat> you are going to want to make sure that you read this entire booklet before you get started. There's a lot of information. It's very detailed. Um, you're going to go over when you begin collection, how to collect dried urine, such as you will want the dried urine to um, the, the urine strips to dry before you ship them away, as well as the collecting the saliva, you will be putting it in the freezer at some point. So make sure you read these instructions very carefully. Um, the next page, we're going to look at the collection timeline and rules. There are fluid restrictions and guidelines. Um, collection rules, read this very carefully. Um, you will, upon waking, be doing just a uh, urine and saliva. 30 minutes after waking, you will do saliva only. Six minutes, 60 minutes after waking, you will do a saliva. Two to three hours after waking, you would do a urine. Um, between 4 and 5 p.m., you will do both urine and saliva, and 10 p.m. to midnight, you will be doing a urine and saliva. Again, read all the guidelines because you will be avoiding food, drink at certain times of the day. <clears throat> there are um, things you need to know if you are taking any hormones. Make sure you read this, and there are frequently asked questions here that you um, can look at. If you do have any additional questions, this company is very good about you contacting them at this phone number and they will answer any questions that you have. You will be shipping this test kit once you put everything back together in this test kit. There is a UPS envelope that you will be putting everything in this test kit in here and ship it off. Thank you.